All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. 24 hour temperature cast wants to keep those numbers down. Maybe not this far down. The key will be how soon and how many showers we're able to get going. I see a little bit of activity on the radar this morning in parts of Taylor County. Some of these showers have been drifting from west to east. Now I do expect to see more showers develop later this morning and early this afternoon. But maybe our best chance to see the most activity is going to be late tonight when that boundary droops through the area and when it does, Maybe we get a little organized batch of showers and thunderstorms where that boundary is able to make it to where it ends up setting up shop for the next couple of days going to be super important for where we likely expect the most showers and yeah, showers are a big part of the weekend forecast doesn't mean everybody's weekend is going to get washed away. It's not. There's going to be plenty of breaks and gaps between all those showers, but I still think a real good chance for a lot of us to get multiple rounds of showers each of the next few days. Now, can you see the back edge of the clouds when you get up into the Tennessee Valley? That's where there's even some drier air, but what's likely going to happen as the boundary moves south, the drier air isn't able to follow it all the way in and none of that drier air is going to make it to where we are. So we're going to get stuck in the warm, the humid, the soupy and the unsettled. It's 70 right now in Thomasville. It's 72 in Valdosta. We're at 73 in Tallahassee. Most numbers between 70 and 75, right? We expect them to be in early July. Our winds barely a breath of a breeze out there. So the fog is starting to get thicker. Places like Perry, like Valdosta, visibility at a mile or less. We're going to find more spots where we get more reduced visibility. Now the overall weather pattern for us is more about that boundary today than anything else. Where it goes, how quickly it gets here and where it ends up stalling. Super important. Future cast wants to paint in some showers at times this afternoon, but remember it's not an all day. Everybody gets wet kind of rain. There's going to be lots of breaks and gaps. Then as we get to tonight, like six, seven, eight, nine o'clock and that boundary tries to droop through the area. Then we get that chance for maybe a little bit more organized action. It's starting to feel more and more like that boundary should be able to make it maybe as far south as I 10. So areas from the I 10 corridor and south will probably have the better chances for the most showers on Saturday and on Sunday. But that doesn't mean we can't get more showers and more spots. We will. So count on plenty of showers. Hope for those breaks if you got outdoor stuff to get done. And all of this completely independent of what's going on in the tropics. That's Elsa getting closer and closer to the lesser Antilles that then those islands will be just a little bit of a hiccup for it as it bounces right past them into this little pocket in the Caribbean here where I think we're going to find its biggest strengthening. Now the storm itself has gotten a little bit stronger since last night. 60 mile per hour sustained winds still moving real fast to the west northwest at 28. You know these usually the fast moving ones have the toughest time organizing, strengthening, developing. So that's one of the things that's working in our favor for this not to get super strong. The, the forecast wants to bump it up to 70 mile per hour winds by tomorrow afternoon. And of course, we know 74 mile per hour winds when we start calling this a hurricane. So lots to watch over the next 24 hours before it starts to interact with these Caribbean islands. Now the interaction with these land masses, especially the more mountainous ones, are going to have big impacts on the structure and the where Elsa ends up going. So yeah, that cone is large four or five days down the road. The normal error four or five days down the road is 200 miles or so. So there's going to be a lot of uncertainty today looking out to Tuesday, Wednesday. But the more important part of this is once we get to tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, we should be able to start reducing more and more of that uncertainty. So keep checking in with us. The waiting game for about another day, day and a half, and then we'll start to get a better handle on it for you. Winds on the Gulf today, southwest and west, 8 to 16, seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a look at the tide times. You can always double check these, WCTV.TV. It's our webpage. Got all the weather information there for you. 70s this morning. Rain chances crank up to 70, 80% this afternoon. I think most of us will get to the mid 80s. Tonight it's low 70s and likely going to see those showers and storms linger. Here's that forecast for the next couple of days. We should be keeping those temperatures in the 80s and keep those rain chances pretty high into the early part of next week.